Hey guys, okay, so here we have ourselves an acceleration and centripetal acceleration problem where we're going to be calculating centripetal acceleration and centripetal force. So, Logan is flying his helicopter with a velocity of 175 meters per second, and he flies in a loop which has a radius of 50 meters. So we know that this radius right here is 50 meters, okay? And it asks, how much centripetal acceleration will he have when he starts around the loop? Well, the radius is 50 meters, and he's moving with a velocity of 175 meters per second. Now, we have an equation for centripetal acceleration. It is the acceleration, centripetal acceleration, equals velocity squared over the radius. So our velocity is 175, and we're going to square that, and then divide by the radius, which is 50. So when we grab our calculator and do 175 squared, we get a really large number, 30,000 625 over 50. So to find the acceleration, we're going to divide this by 50, and we get 612.5. meters per second squared. So he's traveling with a centripetal acceleration of 612.5 meters per second squared. Okay, now we want to know what is the centripetal force on Logan and his chopper? So to, together, collectively, they have a mass of 1,400 kilograms. Now we know that the equation for force is mass times acceleration. So we know that the force is equal to the mass, 1400, times the acceleration, which is 612.5 meters per second squared. And we multiply those out. So 1,400 times 612.5, and he's actually got himself 857,500 newtons. of centripetal force. Okay? So it takes a lot of centripetal force to get that helicopter to go around in a loop. Alright, so which way does the acceleration point? Alright guys, you should know this. For centripetal acceleration and centripetal force, in what direction does the acceleration point? It points towards the center. Okay. And which way does his velocity point? His velocity points straight ahead. So if he were to stop, you know, in his loop at any point during the flight, he would just go off straight forward. Okay? And that's how you calculate centripetal acceleration and centripetal force.